Hey, what's up you guys? If you're planning on towing a trailer with your Tesla Model S, you have to have trailer wiring installed. It's required by the law. Let's go ahead and break down that install. You'll need the tool seen here to complete this installation. So our trailer wiring will be connected to our taillight harnesses on both sides of our vehicle. So we're gonna to need to get behind all the paneling. So we're gonna start by removing the rear threshold panel. But before we do that, we need to pull back on the weather seal to give us a little bit more room. Now next step is we're gonna remove the flooring right here. We're just gonna pull up on it. And now we can just pull up on our rear threshold panel to remove it. So now we're gonna remove these two push pins on the driver's side of the carpet. Now we're, you can just remove these using a trim panel tool or you can take your hands underneath the carpet and just pry it out like that. Now we're just gonna pull up on our carpet and that will just set aside just like that. Now we're gonna remove this side paneling it just has one push pin right here. If you need to, you might have to pull back on your weather seal just a little bit, and then you can just pry this off. And we can just set this aside. So now on the bottom of the driver's side flooring, we're gonna pull back on this carpet and just pull it into the main trunk area. And then there's some more carpet right down here that we're going to pull through all the way bring both of those into our main cargo area. So now right behind our side carpeting, we have this plug that's for our light. We're just gonna push on the tab right here. It's a really small one. So you'll just push it down and then you'll be able to pull this out. Now we're just gonna pull back on this side paneling and this gives us access to our wiring harness. Now we're gonna remove our passenger side paneling following the same instructions as we did on the driver's side. Now it's a little different on this side, so when we get to that point, we'll show you how to get that off. But let's start by removing these bottom flooring pins. Now to get the driver's side paneling off, we're just gonna pull up on this. And then we can pull out after we unplug this wiring light harness again. Now that we have this paneling pulled back, we have access to our passenger side tail light harness right here. And now that we have access to both of our tail light harnesses, we're gonna pull back on this loom on both sides to get more access to the wiring that we will be connecting to. Now that we have access to all of our wires on our tail lights, we're gonna use an LED test light to see what kind of wiring function our vehicle has. On our driver's side, we're gonna check for our left turn signal, brake, and running light function. And on our passenger side tail light, we're gonna check for our right turn signal function. So let's go ahead and ground this and check it out. So after checking our functions, we found that we have a two wire system, that our turn signals and brakes share the same wire, and that our running lights have its own separate wire on both sides of our tail lights. So using our instructions, we're gonna hook up all of our ZCI connectors, except our connector labeled with the red brake sticker. Let's go ahead and show you how that's done. 
So we're gonna start by connecting our left turn connector for our ZCI unit. Now it'll have the yellow sticker on it that says left turn. Now there's an arrow on top. We wanna to make sure that that arrow is facing towards the tail light. But we're gonna go and unclip this and we're gonna set our wire into this channel that has the left turn signal and brake function on it. So let's go ahead and do that. So our wire is just gonna sit in that channel and then we're gonna close it on top. Now making sure that the arrow is pointing towards the tail light, we're gonna take our foam tape and we're gonna tape it all around that connector so it doesn't move and is protected. Now we're gonna take our connector with our brown sticker that says tail on it. We're gonna open that up and connect it to our wire on our driver's side tail light that had the running light function. And then we're also gonna secure this with some foam tape. Now we're gonna take our connector that has the longer wire and the green sticker that says right turn, and we're going to connect this to our passenger side tail light to the wire that has the right turn signal and brake function. So we're just gonna bring it over here and we'll connect it. And then we'll go ahead and tape this one up as well. Now we're gonna take our white wire with the ring terminal and we're gonna ground it underneath where our rear threshold panel goes. We're just gonna line it up right here and using the provided self-tapping screw and a quarter inch socket. Now we're going to connect our power wire to our black wire on our converter box. Now we're gonna use a U-Haul exclusive power wire that has a protective loom on it to help keep it safe from the elements. So then we're just gonna connect these two wires together using a heat shrink buck connector. Now we're gonna run this power wire to our engine compartment to hook up to our 12 volt battery. Now we're going to go underneath our vehicle and to get underneath our vehicle, we're gonna push our wire through this vent on the driver's side. Now underneath the vehicle, we need to remove this forward most underbody panel so that we can get access to our power wire. We're going to remove these three push pins and these bolts using a 10 millimeter socket for the bolts and a flathead screwdriver for those push pins. Now in the driver's side wheel well, we're gonna remove these two push pins. We're gonna remove those using a flathead screwdriver and we're only gonna remove it on the driver's side.
Now with that panel down, we're just gonna reach our arm up on the very far driver side, and we should be able to feel our wire and pull it out. So our wiring comes out right here next to that paneling. We're going to route it towards the front of our vehicle by keeping it right towards the edge of this paneling till we get to this groove and follow the edge of this paneling till we reach this plate, which brings you to the front of the driver side rear tire. Now to keep our wiring into place, we're gonna drill a couple holes, one right here, so our wire stays into place through it. Now we're gonna pull our wire through and get it into place. So now we're gonna take our wire and we're going to tuck it behind this trim that goes all the way up to the front driver's side wheel well. And we're gonna to wanna to make sure that we tuck it in underneath this paneling on the outside of the vehicle. and then we're gonna cut the ends off of all of our zip ties. Now that our wires are underneath our underbody panels, we can go ahead and reinstall the one that we removed. So we brought our wiring right here next to our front driver side wheel. We need to bring it up through the fender to bring it to our 12 volt battery that's located here in the front trunk. So let's go ahead and take apart some of these panels so we can find the best way to bring this wire up. So we're gonna start by removing this driver side panel. It's just held in by one screw that's on this grommet. So we're just gonna unscrew that. And then we can just pull off on this panel. Now we're gonna remove this front center panel right here. It just pulls off. And you'll need to squeeze it a little bit right here to get around those arms. Now we're gonna remove these three push pins towards the top. We're just gonna use a flathead screwdriver. So then we're just gonna unclip it. And that's our clip right there. Now there are two hoses on both sides. The big one on the driver's side will come off real easy. The one on the passenger side is a little tight, but we don't need to remove it all the way. We're just going to slide it over on the side for now. And then if we just pull up on this right here, we have access to our 12 volt battery. This is where it's located for our Tesla Model S. Now that we know where our battery is and we have access to it, let's go ahead and find our best route through our fender to pull our power wire up. So to bring our power wire up, we're gonna use a fishing technique. 
Using a larger gauge wire, we're going to push it up through our fender so we can attach our power wire and pull it through. So our best channel to bring that through comes through right here and down through our fender. So we remove two push pins from our fender right here so we could bring our wiring up all the way through. We pushed it up towards where our brake reservoir is and that gave us the best channel. So now we're gonna take our pull wire and we're going to tape our power wire to the end of it. And we're just gonna use some electrical tape. Now with that taped on, we're just gonna go ahead and pull it all the way up. And we're just gonna go nice and slowly to make sure it doesn't get caught on anything. And then if you took them out, you'll reinstall your push pins. So we went ahead and removed our pull wire from our power wire, and we're going to route it to our 12 volt battery underneath this cross member. So now we're going to locate our positive terminal right here. We're just gonna remove this cover. Now we want to remove this nut right here and we wanna make sure that this post does not come off. So we're gonna use a 12 millimeter socket to remove this nut. And now we're going to attach our fuse holder. We're just gonna attach the terminal to that post. And then using the same 12 millimeter socket, we'll reinstall the nut. Now we're going to connect our power wire to our fuse holder. With our U-Haul exclusive power wire, all we have to do is plug it in. With all of our wiring attached, we're ready to program it using our learn mode for our ZCI unit. To do that, we're going to plug in our 15 amp fuse, and then we're going to hold each of our trailer light functions for five seconds each. We'll start with both of our turn signals, our brake light, and then our running lights. Let's go ahead and plug this in and do the programming. We'll start with the left turn signal. right turn signal, then we'll hit the brake, and then we'll let the headlights go on. All right, now with our wiring in place and programmed, we can go ahead and zip tie and clean up our wires and tuck it up underneath our paneling and reinstall everything in our front and rear trunk. Tell me when you're ready. Now in the trunk, let's go ahead and take a look at where you can store your four flat harness. You can leave it here in the cargo area and just pull it out through the weather seal when you need to tell, or you can bring it up underneath your vehicle, right next to your receiver hitch and mount it there. If you wanna do that, you can just bring your wiring down through that vent and pull it over right next to your receiver hitch. Now we want to leave ours in our cargo area, so we're gonna bring it underneath the carpet over here into this main trunk section. And then we're gonna tuck all of our remaining wires behind our panels and we'll reinstall our cargo area.
With everything hooked up and powered up, you're ready to tow a trailer. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions about this product, or if you'd like to schedule an installation with a U-Haul Hitch Professional, you can visit your closest U-Haul Hitch Center, or you can visit us online at uhaulhitches.com. Thank you.